if you've ever seen this video or this one, then you've experienced volumetric video. Imagine capturing a moment in time, like a performance or event, and being able to play it back from any angle. Volumetric video is the process of capturing live video in three-dimensional space and converting it into a 3D model. This model can then be placed within any 3D environment, whether it's rendered into a scene or placed in virtual reality or the metaverse or even in augmented and mixed reality. At a consumer level, the method for capturing volumetric video could involve a single depth sensing camera. At a production level, this could involve numerous cameras centering on a subject. This could range anywhere from 40, 60, or even 100 cameras, or more, recording the visual RGB data from every angle. And an equal number of infrared cameras could be used to capture the depth by receiving point cloud data. The combination of all this data is what gives the video its volume. You may be familiar with modern devices equipped with LiDAR sensors that shoot rapid pulses of infrared laser light. By measuring how long it takes for the light to reflect back, these devices can generate a point cloud by calculating where these points are in 3D space. This makes things like 3D scanning not only possible, but incredibly easy to do. The front-facing cameras on some iPhone models also come with an infrared true depth camera, which builds a 3D model using a different mesh approach than LiDAR, and this is what some VTubers use, along with Apple's AR kit, for more accurate facial tracking. LiDAR has been around for over 50 years, mostly for scientific and government applications. But over time, depth sensing technology eventually became a tool for creative expression as well. In 2008, Radiohead released a music video for House of Cards that used only point cloud visualizations. And since 2010, the open source community, hackers, and developers have helped to open up Microsoft's Kinect hardware, allowing the infrared sensor to be accessible for all sorts of experimentation. And more recently, companies now provide software for anyone with a depth sensing device to create their own volumetric content. And volumetric video is still in its infancy, with use cases revolving around specific needs. One example is marketing and advertising. When it comes to complex camera movements, these projects would typically require the need for specialized equipment, carefully planned shots, and room for reshoots. But volumetric video could apply any type of camera movement, after it's been filmed, only one time. Another use for volumetric video could be for training and education, such as in healthcare, and it could open up a new way for doctors to remotely interact with their patients. But, it's within the world of entertainment, where volumetric video has shown its growth and potential. This includes music videos and performances, oisa, oisa, oisa. short and feature films, and sports content. In October of 2021, Unity launched Metacast, a 3D engine for delivering real-time volumetric sports content. Audiences, coaches, trainers, or referees could choose to observe an entire event from any angle, even from an athlete's own point of view. However, the strength of volumetric video is not just in 3D capture alone, once all of the data is stitched together, it also introduces the ability to manipulate the final model. Skeletons can be added, meshes can be adjusted, limbs can be repositioned, and the head and face can potentially react and respond to the user's interactions. Plus, capturing a standard T-pose can lead to even more possibilities. The magic is in how the data is utilized. Chelmiko's Easy Breezy Music Video demonstrates how volumetric video can playfully mix live human choreography with stylized 3D edits, and a single performance can be repurposed in unlimited ways. While the volumetric capturing for the music video was done by 4D Views and Crescent's 4D Studio, their live streamed performance was captured at Canon's Kawasaki Volumetric Video Studio. And there are volumetric capture studios all over the world, which can lead to some interesting creative collaborations. In 2021, Coldplay and BTS released a music video for My Universe. It used volumetric captures done by Dimension Studio in London and captures from Jump Studio in South Korea. And Ingenuity Studios managed to compile everything together through the help of AMGI and numerous other studios. So we have 11 dancing 3D characters per shot that have to be carefully rearranged and turned and, and organized. It, it, was, it was one of the biggest challenges I've ever worked on. Not only that, Dimension Studio had also recorded inside of the Polymotion stage, a 4K mobile capture studio 
created in partnership between Microsoft Mixed Reality Capture Studio, Dimension, and Mark Roberts Motion Control. Volumetric video could also become a useful tool in filmmaking. An entire scene could be shot, and then the framing, camera movement, and even lighting could later be decided upon in post-production. When Neil Blumkamp worked on his 2021 film, Demonic, he used volumetric video as a way to visually represent the world of a simulation. Over 300 4K cameras were used, relying purely on the video for the volumetric capture. Just like photogrammetry and videogrammetry, this meant that the process of extrapolating 3D information came from just the visual data alone. But this posed a challenge. Currently, the quality of volumetric capture isn't quite comparable to that of film or high-definition video, and creating a 3D scan strictly through a video-only approach made it more difficult to work with due to its glitchy nature. So Neil chose to lean fully into the volumetric look and use the glitch effects as part of the storytelling. As long as technology continues to advance and evolve, humans will always find new and creative ways of bringing the real world into the digital universe. Eventually, the virtual will become indistinguishable from reality. Wait, have we come full circle? Google's immersive light field video technology introduces an interactive way to freely view more than 180 degrees of volumetric video, and it also lets you change your perspective to peek behind objects or to see different angles in reflections. This type of immersion adds a new level of depth and parallax to video content. So, what does it really mean to give video volume in a world full of CGI, 3D engines, virtual production, it's about preserving realism. Imagine being able to record your loved ones, their exact mannerisms, their subtle facial expressions, everything in full 3D. Imagine exploring your childhood home in VR and watching your memories play out before you. Imagine experiencing a real concert, but from the point of view of anyone on the stage. Imagine the next generation of live streaming, where chat can pick any angle to view. Okay, maybe not a good idea. While volumetric video is just the tip of the iceberg, it will be exciting to see how this type of thinking will influence video content in the future. And with it, the creative spirit.